Even though we did have some rain in much of South Dakota, there's still a fire danger at risk in parts of the state. Kettleland Sydney Thorson explains why people still need to take fire precautions this summer. Recent rain has been good for the Black Hills. However, it's not nearly the amount we need to be at a low fire danger. State fire meteorologist Darren Claybo says the moisture we are getting comes very quick and evaporates very quick due to high temperatures. The thunderstorms we have been getting have been dumping, you know, half an inch up to two inches of rain in places, but it comes in two hours. We want to see two inches of rain over two weeks, not in two hours. Claybo says in order for the moisture to mitigate the fire danger levels, we need more rain over longer periods of time. Fire Chief Gail Schmidt with the Rockerville Fire Department says her crews have seen about 10 wildland fires since spring, which is more than the usual during this time. We've seen some rains this year, um, and ultimately what that's done for us is it's, it's been great. It's greened some things up, but it's really just delayed our fire season a bit. We've had some moisture, but it's not our normal. Chief Schmidt says the public can be a huge help in preventing wildfires by being cautious. They can't start unless they have an ignition source. We can't burn anything up unless we start the fire. So Mother Nature is going to bring her lightning. Can't change that. We'll, we'll be ready. We'll do what we can. But the public can help us out as well. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Fire crews, including South Dakota Wildland Fire, are preparing for the potential of a very busy summer ahead.